Want to capture the raw intensity of emotions in your art? In just minutes, I'll show you how to easily draw anger expressions that bring life into your characters. So I draw an egg shape. You can do whatever method you want. Loomis method. I like to do this oval shape with a kind of a more pointy chin. Uh, I draw halfway down in the center is where the eyes go, but I'm drawing the head a little tilted. So the features are going to be pushed down a little bit, not much. Uh, the circle on top of the head is for the hair. I'm going to do like a little bun or something just to keep it simple. Um, the eyebrows are just above the head and then the nose is halfway between the eyebrows and the chin. And the bottom of the mouth is halfway between the bottom of the nose and the chin. And like I said, those features are going to be pushed down a little bit just because of perspective. It's not really like when you're doing a perspective, there's not really a formula. You have to kind of fill it out. So I'm refining here, just trying to get things done quickly, draw some eyes in, nose. I'm going to draw the mouth closed for this mouth, for this face, just to kind of show you initially like she's just going to be annoyed so i want to draw one where she's definitely angry and then i'm going to draw another one where she's even more angry just to kind of show you the difference the biggest thing here is going to be the eyebrows when you're drawing anger you want the inside corners of the eyebrows to be slanted in towards the eyes and they kind of look like check marks to me you, if you point the inside of it up a little bit, like curl it up the eyebrow and then kind of push the in between the eyebrows together. So you add like little wrinkle lines. It makes it look infinitely more angry than if you didn't add those curls. It is optional. It depends on like how angry the person is, but just adding those little wrinkles right there, as you can tell, it makes her feel a lot more angry than before. And really, this is all you need for an angry person. You could, the mouth, if you're not going to open it, you want it to be kind of like straight and pressed together. I drew the ear like way too big. I'm going to have to fix that. Um, do some simple hair. I'm just going to do like, like I said, I'll just do a ponytail. I want you to be able to see her face. The face is what's important here, not so much what I do with the hair. So angle the eyebrows, you can have the eyes open or closed, just like with happy expressions. Another thing you can do with the mouth is you can kind of curve it downwards, like, like it's pointing down or almost like, especially if it's open, you're gonna want to have it curving down a lot. So this girl is definitely, she looks like she's confident and she looks like she's going to mess you up. You can see my reference here. I didn't copy the reference. I used it for inspiration to just, you know, get the hair and make sure that I am getting someone angry. A lot of times beginners think that reference isn't important, but it really is as long as you're not a slave to it. All right, so I'm gonna draw another one here and I'm just, doing my oval, I'm doing my construction lines. I'm kind of just filling out what I want to do. Nothing here is set in stone. Okay, I want, this time I want to have like messier hair. If you mess up the hair, it kind of adds to the like unruly rage feeling that someone is having. Or someone, sorry, the adds to the unruly rage feeling that someone could be feeling. And I'm playing around with the idea of putting hands in the hair. I don't know if I'm going to go with it because honestly I'm feeling kind of lazy and I don't want to draw hands but we'll see so let's refine it get the chin in there get an idea of where the ears are so I'm going to do an open mouth one thing that you need to take care of when you're drawing the mouth open the jaw is going to open down and the jaw will never move up the jaw is attached to the bottom of the skull and it hinges downwards. So when you're drawing the mouth open, you just take the head length and you extend it a little bit and get my V eyebrows in there. If you make the eyebrows touching the eyes, that's another little subtle thing that you can do to make someone feel anger. And what I highly recommend doing 
is use your phone or get a mirror and make the facial expression yourself. So if you're doing anger, what do you think you would do? What do you think you would look like if you were angry? Make that expression and then try to draw it. And then take your expression that you're making and push it. Try to make the person look angrier than you actually look. That is one thing I have learned that when you're drawing from reference, if you get it pristine, exactly like the reference, oddly enough, your drawing is going to look worse than the reference. The reference is gonna feel a lot more angry than your drawing. So as you can see here, just with the open mouth, she already looks a whole lot more angry to me than the previous drawing. And then you can see that I'm touching the eyebrows on the eyes. I'm making her pupils smaller. That's another trick that you can do. The smaller the pupils, the more like psychopath, enraged, fueled the person will seem and makes them look more focused and intense. Uh, one thing that people like to do with anime, and you'll see a lot in the animations, is people will draw raise really tiny pupils and then really big open eyes and it's like whatever you can think of like just push it just keep trying different things i encourage you to experiment draw from all kinds of different references how can you make her look angry it's like okay she looks angry now i'm going to make her angry or now i'm going to be making her filled with rage and I'm not really liking this poofy hair I got going. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to erase the side of it. And I'm going to do like maybe a flop over here because this is just not working for me. Her hair is just way too big and poofy. So yeah, I'm going to erase side of it. Now she's got like this stylized thing, but I still want to keep it super messy because that, like I said, the unruly rage, like the messier the hair, it just makes them feel a lot more upset. I'm kind of struggling a little bit here with the shoulders. The pit of the neck in general, especially if you're drawing from real life, the top of the head to the bottom of the nose, if you take that length and then from the bottom of the nose to the pit of the neck, that's where the pit of the neck goes. A little tip there. And so, yeah, keep drawing. Uh, I would say anger is probably easier to draw than a lot of the other ones. Yeah, if you like this video, leave a comment, like it, like actually tell me that you like it so you get more of them. Watch more videos so you can keep learning.